welcome back. Here's a clue to the identity of my next guest. There are a lot of things he hates, but the thing is, he's someone we all love. That's right, trendsetters. <laughs> Please welcome Rodney Rood. <laughs> Thank you very much, Trendsetters. I appreciate that. I suppose, um... <laughs> suppose everybody knows why Michael Jackson never uses his finger. Because it's mine. <laughs> Don't believe how funny I am. Anyway, uh, I got invited out to my grandfather's place uh, last weekend. Um, invited me out for the weekend for a porgy. And, um... <laughs> That's like an orgy, only you invite a pig. <laughs> had a really, um, <laughs> had a really good weekend. Um, did you read where Alex Haley, the author of Roots, found out that he was adopted? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I was reading where the Ku Klux Klan purchased the movie rights to Roots. They're going to run it backwards, so it'll have a happy ending. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, trendsetters, I'd like to do a song for you. Uh, uh, I need to get the rhythm for this. Here I go. I'm going to do a song. Here I go. Okay, that's too fast. Okay, I'll slow it down. <laughs> hey, you broke my heart. <laughs> no, that coward. <laughs> okay, sing a song. Okay, the real stuff. Here I go. Put maximum effort into this. Here we go. Oh, hurry on down to my house, baby. There ain't nobody home with me. Oh, hurry on down to my joint sugar. I'm as blue, 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 as blue, as blue as blue can be. Oh, the cuckoo in the clock is going tick, tick, tock. Come on, baby, grab my hat. Oh, hurry on down to my house, baby. There ain't nobody home with me. Hurry on down. <laughs> Oh, I was reading in the paper today another big earthquake in Iran. A hundred million dollars worth of improvements. <laughs> Nobody home with me. Oh yeah. Oh. Did you hear about the short Arab? Every time he broke wind, he got sand in his shoe. Yeah. Hurry on down to my house, baby. There ain't nobody home with me. Oh, hurry on down to my house, baby. I'm as blue, blue, blue as blue as blue can be. Oh, there was a man called the Statue of Venus. He fell down and he broke his foot. Ah! Oh, in my house, baby, there ain't nobody home but me. thing we didn't do last time, and I'm terribly sorry about it, I think it goes back to about May the, what would it be? It was last Wednesday fourth. anyway, it was your dad's birthday, and I forgot it. It, it was, it was my dad's birthday, and I um, wanted to send him a little cheerio, and that's uh, fantastic of you, Bert, to remember that and, uh, and to send it to him now. Well, happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Rude Senior. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Why are you sitting like that? 
Well, as a matter of fact, Bert, I, I, uh, I hurt myself really badly on the, uh, the left buttock just there. I, uh, what happened, I, I was down at uh, Mum and Dad's place for the, for the weekend and um, I had a, a Sunday dinner and um, my mother baked this beautiful Sunday dinner and she, um, I don't like peas. <laughs> I, I slid the peas under the mashed potato, you know how you do it, and put the mashed potato on top so that um, she wouldn't see them, you know. And um, we finished the dinner, and I got up uh, to go into the lounge room. I just got up, like, the big mistake I made, but was where I turned my back on my mother, like this. She kicked me so hard <laughs> in the left buttock because... Uh, Every Sunday, uh, the same thing happens, you know. I have dinner, I try to hide the peas. She kicks me, sometimes the left buttock, sometimes the right, sometimes the bullseye. Every... <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm getting fed up with it. I'm kind of, a, it's kind of a bit sore, and that's how that come about. Yeah, oh, yeah well, fair enough. It's well, a, rather... a logical explanation. It is, but uh, it, it always... Um, I always wondered about it, uh, you know, my mother kicking a grown man mm. like that, you know, but uh, she still does it. Anything else you've been doing you'd like to report? Oh, I, um... <laughs> I went out to the, uh... I was out at the airport with my brother. Um, he goes out there weekends and, uh, finds luggage. <laughs> I went out with him and found, uh, we found this really nice uh, red port, but, uh, didn't have anything worthwhile and uh, I said, oh, no. he said, well, don't, we'll just find another one. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we saw those drug dogs, have you seen those drug dogs? Mm. Those Alsatians they, um, they, uh, they have out there? They apparently, this fellow was telling me, they, uh, you, you can always pick them, the drug dogs, they're the ones with the little spoons around their collars. <laughs> and apparently, apparently, this is serious stuff, apparently uh, they give them a lot of drugs so they want more drugs. <laughs> if they didn't give me, give me any drugs, they wouldn't know what the hell they were looking for. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, and, uh, and I was out there with my brother and I saw this drug dog sniffing around in someone's port and uh, he, he sniffed around and he, he, he licked up a couple of trips of acid out of this, uh, this port and he went nuts. Thought, thought he was a human. Thought, mm. thought he was a famous person. Thought he was Willie Nelson. <laughs> wearing his collar around his head <laughs> he, he was he, he hopped up on the what do you call that the, the conveyor belt and he started singing on the road again <laughs> the gate and I'm on the road again <laughs> so uh, yeah and uh, I've been uh, been applying for jobs. Uh, what sort of jobs? Uh, well, I'm being a top-class nightclub comedian. Um, there's not a lot to do in the daytime. Yeah. And uh, get really bored. And uh, I've been uh, applying for jobs I don't want so I can waste other people's time. <laughs> I've, uh, I like to do that. I, I do. I like to... It, it's, uh, seriously, it's interesting how um, uh, you can pick up the paper any day and there's all these jobs in the paper, hundreds of them. And some of them, they leave the phone number. Put the phone number there. So, I'm, I mean, you can do it if you want to. Uh, you can just phone up and um, phone up and apply for a job. I applied for a job, applied for a job the other day as an airline pilot. And uh, the fella said, uh, have you had any experience? I said, well, I've been flying back and forth to the United States for years. Not, not exactly, not as a pilot, just as a passenger. And uh, I, I figured if you give me a half a chance, I'd pick it up. I'm not, I wouldn't... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't expect. I'm serious, man. Uh, I wouldn't expect a uh, you know a big plane straight off, just a small one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun, that you know. Apply for jobs. You can do it if you want to. It's, uh, it sounds a darn good idea, doesn't it? It is. Ever thought of ice skating? Ice skating? Um, yeah, my father. Uh, when I was a kid, my father uh, was talking to my father, and I said to, to him, uh, uh, "Can I go ice skating?" He said, "No, wait till it gets a bit warmer." <laughs> <laughs> The reason I mention ice skating, after this commercial break, fortunately, we have two of the finest skating champions in the world for you to meet. Torvald and Jardine are going to be with us. Thank Rodney Rude. We'll take this break.